Good morning, Namaste class 9. Let's now begin our new lesson, Development. Whenever we talk about simple definition of development, people reply, Development is the process of improvement or the development is the process of positive change. Yes, development means positive change in something. But the idea of development is different from person to person. Let's look at few pictures. Here, in a, here is a child labor. If he gets chance to go to school and get education, that will be development for him. Here, the first slide shows woman violence. If her condition improves and anyway she gets equality as shown in other picture, then that may be development for her. Look at the other picture. Here, in first picture, it is too difficult for public to walk and drive. But in the second, the condition has improved. We can see the development. The road has been pissed. Have a look at these two pictures and compare them. The worker in the first picture has less earning. It seems he is not satisfied with his job. But if the same worker gets better job, he will be able to sustain his life happily. Then that is development for him. So, from, all, from these examples, we notice that development is based on two aspects. One, material things. Like body, house, saving and others. And other non-material things like respect, security, equality, freedom, peace and so on. So let us talk about development on the basis of two aspects, material things and non-material things. So let us talk about money. When we talk about money, it comes under material things. Everyone, everybody or everyone wants to earn money. If there is money, there is quality food, land, house, quality education to children and so on. So for development, money or income is essential. So economic progress is a part of development because if there is money, everything can be there. You all think so, but it is not true. Let us talk about non-material aspect of development or non-material things that is also related to development. Some, th some other things that are necessary that come under non-material things are respect, security, freedom, equality, peace and so on. Take the example, we all want to get respect from others. We need peace and security to live a comfortable life in our society. Do we like to live in a society where there is discrimination? No. So it means that the definition that is given by UNO is right when it talks about the development. So according to the UN Charter or according to the paper that is issued by UNO, Development does not concern only with the fulfillment of physical needs of human beings, but also with the improvement of social condition. It means for overall development of a country, not only economic development should be prioritized more. Other aspects should also be considered. So, look at this, this slide. When we talk about development of a nation, that economic development, social development, political development, administrative development and other development are essential for the development of our country or of a nation. Now let us talk what is economic development. When we talk about economic development, all the people in the country should be able to earn their livelihood. For that, more job opportunities, skill-based education, quality education, 
has to be provided to the people then only they can earn the money and they can sustain their life easily by fulfilling their three ends and other necessity of life now let us come to social development when we talk about social development for it discriminations gender inequality superstitious beliefs and traditions which are prevalent in our country or in our society has to be improved then only there can be social development in our society there are so many uh, traditional beliefs there are so many superstitious beliefs that are that are hampering our society and the people so because of it the life of the people in our country is not okay so it means that we need to make some changes in the social aspect of our country now let's go forward to political development when we talk about political development it is related to the government and its rule in the country so when we talk about political development the issues like right to vote political stability freedom of speech fundamental rights to the people periodic election and so on comes under it so when a country wants to be developed then it has to develop its political aspect too now when we talk about administrative development then for administrative development there should be government offices officers who are responsible for providing better facilities to the public the government officers should not be corrupt there should be transparency in the work they do so for uh, for the development of a country even administrative development or development related to the administration of the country by the by the government has to be improved or has to be developed not only these there are some other aspects too which are related to the development of a nation so it means that when we talk about development or development of a nation that we don't only considered about economic development other development economic as well as social political administrative intellectual and other developments are also necessary or there should be all round development of a country or in each and every aspect there should be the development then only a country can get developed or the development can be achieved inside our country now here are few questions for here is a question for practice now look at the question development does not concern only with the fulfillment of physical needs of human beings but also with the improvement of social condition how you need to explain it this was for today now meet you in the next video thank you don't forget to like comment and subscribe our channel if you haven't checked out our other videos is in the description below thank you